Lord God called to Adam, Where are you? The most important question. Is there a more searching question than the one God directed at the newly fallen Adam? God, of course, knew exactly where Adam and Eve were. He is omniscient all-knowing after all, so God was really asking, Adam, do you know where you are? Adam and Eve had disobeyed God, Genesis 3, 4, and their disobedience created a breach, a break in what had heretofore been a perfect relationship between God and his crowning creation. The place where God had met them on every previous day was empty on this day. The first faces ever created bore no smile for their creator that day. Arms he had fashioned from clay did not enfold him that day. Hearts whose beats had often synchronized with his own were strangely distant, almost silent that day. Not enough. Ellen White comments, Satan represented to the holy pair that they would be gainers by breaking the law of God. Do we not today hear similar reasoning? Patriarchs and Prophets, page 54. Adam and Eve made the mistake of listening to the devil, and he convinced them that what God offered them was not enough, that communion with God in a close, trusting relationship was not enough. In an instant the mild, balmy climbs of Eden now seemed to chill the guilty pair. The love and peace which had been theirs was gone, and in its place they felt a sense of sin, a dread of the future, a nakedness of soul. The robe of light which had enshrouded them now disappeared, and to supply its place they endeavored to fashion for themselves a covering, for they could not, while unclothed, meet the eye of God and holy angels, page 57. Sin had changed the spiritual condition of the only creatures in Eden with whom God had shared his very image. Indeed, it had shattered God's image in them. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. Prayer Suggestions Thanks and Praise Give thanks for specific blessings and praise God for His goodness. Confession Take a few minutes for private confession and thank God for His forgiveness. Guidance Ask God to grant wisdom for current challenges and decisions. Our Church Pray for regional and world church needs, see separate sheet with requests. Local Requests Pray for current needs of church members, family, and neighbors. Listen and respond. Take time to listen for God's voice and respond in praise or song.